we're switching over to the demo, uh, the demonstration of the three forensic capabilities that Matt pointed out are in production today. Um, the metadata checks, the duplication or image reuse checks, and the internet checks. Um, for those that might not be familiar with this claim page, this is our claim search page where carriers uh, utilize this solution with robust industry data sets to both streamline and effectively manage their claims. Um, gives them insights into some of the, the details around their claim. So what I'd like to point out here specifically is um, the way that we can manually upload images to supplement the facts that are supported or presented here. Um, today we can see the location of the loss, whomever the driver or involved parties were, and ultimately what happened. But we don't have a lot of insights into the way that the scene looked or the condition of the property at the time. What our solution will do is provide you the opportunity to upload images to this claim and then see any insights from metadata duplication or internet duplication um, that may be associated with those images. So today I'll show you this way of manually moving images into the file, which is pretty simple. You just grab the images, uh, drag them, and drop them into the claim. But we, of course, are looking to enable straight through processing, right? And in order to do that, we have to deliver automation. We've got automated ways of submitting your images to us, either in real time, or in a batch format overnight. So if there's something that's of interest to you, we can discuss uh, that process. Um, but right now, as the images are submitted to the claim, they are being delivered to our forensics engine. They're gonna check against um, the internet. They're gonna look in our large database of over 500 and million, 580 million images today to see if that image had been submitted previously. Um, and then it's also going to look for metadata within the image. So um, if you're familiar with this page, this is where an alert would present itself if anything uh, in the image is, uh, needs some additional attention. So if we click on this, uh, so this is the alert that you'll receive here, image forensics. It's just letting you as the user know that there may be something in the images that requires additional attention something that you may want to look at. I click that, it should probably open over here. Just a second. Yeah, okay, so the claim um, details page will pull up after you click the view details and it'll show you um, the images that are affected or the images that we think um, there's, there's something to. Um, so in this example on the top left here, we are showing you that this image, this car passenger side panel, appeared in our claim data set, our duplicate data set, 10 times. If we look down to that alert, it will tell you the 10 companies and claim, claim numbers that that image has also appeared. Um, it's probably important for me to note that we're using uh, mocked up data today, so if this were um, in the real claim, you would see the other insurance companies claim here, along with their file number, the date of loss, and the loss location, right? So you can really go in there and have a look at those prior losses to determine why we may have seen this image before um, and use that to supplement your investigation. We're also telling you that we found metadata in this image that may be important for you. So if you scroll down here to the image metadata alert, what we're telling you is the information in our claim search system does not match the information in the metadata of that image. So the loss we believe happened at 101 Burridge Parkway, but the image was taken at 125 Franklin Turnpike. So that's 715 miles away from the loss location. It may be of interest to you. In some cases, that's you know, expected behavior, in some cases that may be of interest. We're also telling you the date of loss for the, lo the, the claim reported was, you know, February 2nd of 2023, but this image was taken in 2018 and then modified after the loss, 317, 2023. 
if we note that there's editing software in the image, we'll point that out to you too. So in this case, the metadata was edited with this GIMP2 software, um, which is software you, know, you can get for free, low cost on the internet. So we think it's really powerful for us to be able to um, present you the image details along with your claim details so that you can continue um, your investigation. We also talked about internet duplication alerts. So Matt mentioned we're looking online to see if the image that was submitted in your claim was present on the internet. So here, this image of the house foundation damage showed up in our claim duplicate database 10 times and our uh, internet search 10 times as well. So if you'll scroll down here to the internet duplicate alert type, we give you the URLs that this image appeared in. So there are live URLs that you can click right into, and we'll show you that exact image and the site that it came from. So it's really automating that search, giving you back a lot of time um, in your day, providing accuracy uh, and ensuring that you have some comfort around the images that are submitted on your claim. There may be some situations where only one of those analytics uh, um, is triggered here. So in this case, this image was found in our duplicate database 10 times, but we didn't see it online and it doesn't have metadata that you need to be concerned with. So just talking about streamlining your claim process and providing you some power in your investigation, that's where image forensics really comes in. 